Good morning, birds. Lovely that. Don't make me walk that far, please. <laughs> it's a bloody long walk, but very rewarding. One, one hour walk. <laughs> and hopefully, Come on. hopefully I'm worth too it. I'm old for this. Come on. <laughs> so this is first castle in Hampshire. Yeah, why not? Whatever you feel like. I think we can. But it depends what you want. I don't mind any place. Well, it can be that or that. To be honest with you, I prefer that. Let's go then. Because we know our spot. Okay. So let's check here if we can cross. Because we want to be behind the castle. Uh, but plenty of water, high tide now. Normally, this is where we cross. Obviously, not today. Some exercise. Yeah, perfect. Plus, plus, positive. Yeah. Let's go. supposed to be hunted. Uh, can be really spooky at night because there is no single light apart from the lighthouse. And uh, but yeah, 
very cool. You need to be fit though. It's a long walk. And don't come on your own. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's hunted. Uh, phone, phone signal is bad. And uh, there's no people around here at night. So it can be very, very dangerous. Also because of the currents. Sea currents are very strong. So yeah, do your research before you venture out. And check the tides. Check the tides before you come here at night time. If it's high tide, especially now in winter, spring, with very spring uh, tides, just check the side table before you come. Because if you come, surrounded by water can be very difficult to go out from there. That's it, that's it. Advice. It's very important advice and actually, yeah, something to consider. It's not a joke here. Uh, also, yeah. yeah. Cheap. So, we can as much as we can. Well, then we got, uh, we got, uh, you know, material to work well. Yeah. And then when I go in. So here you got the very old well kept lighthouse. Um, now we're going to be very close from Isle of Wight, basically. What you see after the water, that's Isle of Wight. Um, yeah. It's so hard to get here, but it's cool. I don't know if I can get past there. Woo! Wow! Love it here! Wild!
Ah. No idea But there it is I go snag Woo, Rough here Let's try a little bit from this ah. ah, It's gonna cut, quite sure Ah, oh, he's coming! Ah, oh, come on! Come on, you're out! Come on! Ah, oh, yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Where is it? Come on! Woo! Oh! Yay! Well, we lose the hook, but that's it. Kind of cast that far now, I see. Lesson learned. Woo. It's rough here. Uh, we lose the, we lose only the hook. Kind of cast too far, guys, with this current. I just. I totally forgot about it. It's been a while, we haven't been in this area. Guys, always take your lines with you, yeah? No need to leave it here. This. Fish the session. All fast. Very small, well hooked. So again guys, we cannot cast too far because that current here is just mad. As soon as you cast that, the sinker, the weight, just runs very fast and far. And then the problem is those rocks here, you will get we will get cut out. So just for now, nice and easy, quite close to shore, and we still manage to catch. So no we're not blanking. Fernando is changing a little bit the strategy, it's going to the left now uh, because, well, uh, because of the situation here with the current but we're gonna keep here and casting very close to shore, right? Nothing far So nice and easy Just that, yeah? Okay, that was my fault that I didn't stopped uh, the uh, the spool but yeah it happens it's just forgot no an issue basically take that slack out and then we should be just there that's fine also because uh, the water is running quite quite strong 
then obviously he's carrying also the seaweed and uh, that gets in the line like that like we got it now oh by the way the this an empty uh, shark egg and uh, yeah it's empty they look like this pretty pretty cool alien looking like stuff the water is coming down now uh, this anyways but no rain so far it's, it's good that is Fernando uh, yeah yeah wishing him luck uh, if you lost your hat it's maybe here I don't think you want it but yeah I may take it back to the rubbish to the bean this is very shallow uh, obviously there is a little bit of water now but it's extremely shallow two meters I would say max but obviously after there is a sandbank just like 50 meters 100 meters from here and then it gets a lot deeper and uh, what you see guys there in front of us is Isle of Wight and uh, all of that is Isle of Wight I just lose the hook but it was very close from shore what I'm gonna do then so when the water goes down, I'm gonna look for it. I know more or less what it is. I just tangled there. It's accessible because basically the tide goes so low that the um, yeah that you basically can rescue most of uh, the gear you lost. So not too bad. Obviously, you can see someone else's gear there. Just take it with you. It's better that you take it with you than. The, it's just fish in there, you know, because fish will go for it. There's any bait or anything. So yeah. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Need to cut it. Nice. So yeah, I always take with you. They like an aid kit. Uh, you don't know when you're gonna need it. So better to have it than not having it so yeah first kit with you you never know when you need it and I bring my radio uh, mobile signal here is it's rubbish so although this, this can communicate with other radios as well and uh, there is always someone talking uh, for random stuff so from that channel you can always pick uh, some conversation in case you need it which is not a bad idea. Fine. We are ready. Over trousers the sun. All good.
the rock of hell. The rock from hell too. <laughs> you will get a snack in two seconds, eh? Uh, it's a nightmare because you, the water runs towards it. And obviously all the sinkers just get in that rock and then you can move. Then you lose your gear. Strange enough, I don't see any gear. People are not fishing often. Well, it's, it's winter. So all of this was covered before, just a few hours ago. Now it's accessible, a lot high, but this is where we can get, as far as where we can get, no, nothing else. Yeah, pretty clean. Extremely slippery these ones, especially this time of the year. Okay, yeah, let's check our rods. Let's go for the big fish. Hopefully. Plus rocks. Well, not much action so far. But well, that's the way it goes. That's fishing for you. Patience and more patience. 